Hey everybody, Matt here with Crypto Blick. Hope you're having an awesome day today. Today I'm gonna to show you how to set up your Ledger Nano X. I did one on the S, but today I'm gonna to do it on the X for you. So let's hop into it right away and let's get cooking. All right, so step one. So some things you guys should know about are key points here. So the Ledger X uh, connects to an iOS device also can connect to your laptop, it can connect to a desktop computer and Android. So that is the, a big deal with the Ledger Nano X. Uh, with the S, like I showed in a previous video, um, it only works on Android or a desktop and, la and laptop. So if you have an iOS, if, if you have an Apple device that you wanna use your Ledger S on, you cannot at this time. So keep that in mind if you're gonna buy an S because it's, well, it's 50% cheaper than the X. Um, you have to get this Ledger uh, Nano X if you want to be able to do it from your iPhone. So keep that in mind. Um, they both support the same amount of coins, uh, or the same coins, I should say, not the amount, but the same coins. So keep that in mind as well. And then the third point is that uh, the X um, has a slightly bigger screen, um, and it, it can also hold up to up to 200 uh, apps. So as opposed to the S. That can only hold up to, uh, top of my head here, I think it was 20. Uh, let me check my notes here. Yep, three to 20 apps on the S. So the X right here, this bad boy, can hold up to 200 apps. So keep that in mind uh, when you want to purchase or if you've already purchased as you're watching this video, that's something to, uh, to, to consider. Step number two, you're going to open up the app store and you're going to download the ledger, if I can type, ledger live app there we go you're going to do this app right here i already downloaded it just so it'll be faster for us to set up and show you guys but just go ahead and you're going to open it up you're going to download first and you're going to open and then what you're going to do next is click get started so from this step here you're going to select your device so we have a nano x so there we go and then what you're going to go for here of there's seven steps to go through so you're gonna utilize as a new device, all right? Choose your pin code. All right, so it gives you some helpful tips. Turn on the Ledger Nano X, follow the instructions, blah, blah, blah. I don't need to do this for you, but uh, so I need to pull up my ledger that I have, and I'm gonna do the pin code here. All right, so set up as new device. Choose your pin. So just for purposes here, educational purposes, I'm just gonna do zeros and then select. I'm gonna confirm that pin. You're gonna choose whatever you want. You can do four to eight. Confirm. So once you've written down your pin code, you've chosen your pin code, you're gonna to move to the next step here. So it tells you always choose your pin, own pin code, use eight digits. So it's just giving you some information here on, on safety and security. All right, got it. Now save recovery phrase. So it's gonna tell you that as well here on the, uh, the X. It's gonna tell, write down your recovery phrase and that's where these three cards come into play. So keep that in mind, guys. So then this is where you're gonna write down your recovery phrase right here, the 24 different words. All right, so I'm only gonna do a couple to show you, but this one would be come. Next one would be habit. East, and you're gonna continue this on for all 24 words all the way through the process, and then it's gonna have you confirm all the ones here. So then you're gonna see it says, press left to verify your 24 words, press both buttons to continue. So you could go back if you want through all 24 or cl click both here. Confirm your recovery phrase, click again. Confirm word one. So as you can see, I have come. So I'm gonna click through until I see, there we go, right there. So now it says your device is ready, but let's go here and look at our next steps. All right, so save recovery phrase has some insightful information here for your recovery phrase like we went through. Got it, so security checklist. Did you choose your pin code by yourself? Yes, I did. 
Did you save your recovery phrase by yourself? Yes, I did. Continue. All right, so now we're gonna add the Ledger Nano X to the app. So let's click on Add New Ledger Nano X right there. We've got the name pulled up. We're now gonna try and sync. So you're gonna make sure that the uh, code is paired correctly with uh, your Nano X. So I'm gonna click Pair on my phone and then I'm gonna confirm on my Ledger that it's correct. So there we go. Genuine check, so it's checking everything. So it says allow Ledger Art Manager. So I'll show you right now, right there. I'm gonna click yes. All right. Perfect, so pairing successful, continue. All right, so now we're gonna set the password. Use my face ID. And continue. Make sure to remember your password. Do not share it. You guys know that. Let's let's move on. All right. I don't like to do analytics or bug reports just for extra security purposes. I don't like sending out data. Continue. All right. Your device is ready. There we go. All right. There we go. Open up Ledger Live. Perfect. And then you have your terms of use and privacy policy. Confirm. So the next step, we're going to start installing apps and accounts on here. So let's go to accounts, install apps. We're gonna select this, connecting to the Nano X. All right, so I'm gonna do Bitcoin and I'm gonna do Ethereum. And as you can see on the Nano X, it says processing. So it's downloading everything right now. So you can see right now that the Ethereum app is installing on the iPhone app and the Ledger Nano X. So once it gets finished installing here, we'll take you on to the next phase. As you guys can see, it says app successfully installed. You can now add your accounts. So let's add the accounts. Let's do Bitcoin. All right, so it says open a Bitcoin app on your Ledger Nano. Okay, application is ready. All right, we are synchronizing your accounts. This can take a while. Well, hopefully it doesn't take too long. Let's see how it does. So then you're going to select that top one there that's indicating you to select Bitcoin one, continue, account successfully added, go to accounts. Perfect, so I've got that in. All right, but I do wanna add my Ethereum account as well. So I'm gonna do add account, let's do Ethereum. Choose that device. All right, so now I need to go in and uh, open it up within my Nano X. So Ethereum, application ready. So now it's synch synchronizing. So I'm gonna go through the same step here for Ethereum guys, and right then we'll be done. All right, guys, so here you can see that there's the Ethereum 1 option. Select that, continue, accounts successfully added. Go to accounts. There we go. So I've got two accounts synchronized on my Ledger Nano X. Here you can see portfolio. I don't have anything on my portfolio yet, but I can set that up if I want by clicking receive to any of these uh I don't want to go too far because I don't want to give too much information away. Um, but uh, actually, I'll, I'll wipe it clean and I'll start all over. But for this purpose here to show you guys how to set it up, that's how you create your accounts. That how, that's how you get your cryptocurrency onto your uh, Ledger Nano X. All right, guys. And if you want to send or receive cryptocurrency through your Ledger Nano X and the Ledger Live app on your phone, you're going to come down to transfer. You've got the buy crypto assets. If you want to send, click that. Or I don't have anything to send, so I can't actually send yet, but receive. Let's do Ethereum, select the Nano X right there. Confirm the address on the device. So we're gonna pull up the address. And yes, it is confirmed, it's approved. All right, so there we go. So now I can use this, copy this address to start receiving through whether, whatever wallet I have to send it to, 
or what other application that I have um, that I want to send my cryptocurrency to this uh, particular wallet. So there you go. So that is how you send and receive. Um, like I said, you'll see some more information pop up here when you actually have crypto into your portfolio. Portfolio. I can't talk today, man. Um, and it will show. It will update based on the price point for your Ethereum, for uh, Bitcoin, or whatever token that you have. For example, I have BAT tokens, BAT tokens, because I search through their browser. Small little plug there. Uh, but yeah, I get I get uh, BAT tokens every time I uh, surf the internet. So. Uh, not a token per time I serve, but a portion of that token. So it's a great way to receive some other type of cryptocurrency. All right, so that's how you set up the apps and accounts within your Ledger Live app and also on your Nano X here. If you have any questions about uh, how to set it up further, let me know. I'd be more than happy to assist you guys any way that I can. This is on the iOS device. Android is going to be similar. Um, just the UX is going to be different. Maybe there's a few more steps for Android, but I will be doing a video on desktop as well. Be looking forward to that video in case you only have a laptop or a desktop. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys found this helpful and interesting. Uh, if you have any other questions, feel free to comment below. Make sure to like and subscribe these videos. Um, or subscribe to the account and like this video because it helps the algorithm and have a fantastic week or weekend whatever it is for you guys and more info to come soon